we've been working on our geometry unit, more specifically solid figures. So let's go over our geometry words and the names of the shapes. Ready? Rectangular prism. Your turn. Rectangular prism. Pyramid. We can describe these shapes by looking at their specific attributes. The number of faces. Your turn. Vertices. 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 And edges. edges. Excellent. You are going to identify solid figures according to the number and shape of its faces, edges, and vertices. Remember on Friday when we solved a geometry riddle together? Well, today in your numbered head strategies in your group, you're going to be solving more riddles. You are going to describe the solid figures by solving the riddle and justifying or proving your answer. Let's take a look at our sample riddle and I'm going to show you how I would go about solving this riddle. So let's take a look at the first clue. I have six faces. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is use process of elimination. That means that I'm going to figure out which shapes do not fit the clue and that's going to help me narrow it down. So I have six faces. Well, let's see. I know that it can't be the sphere because a sphere has zero faces. Now I'm left here with the cube, the rectangular prism, and the pyramid. So I'm not quite sure how many faces a pyramid has, so I'm going to count the faces. One, two, three, four, and I can't forget the base, five. Well, a pyramid has five faces, so it can't fit this, it doesn't fit this riddle, so I'm gonna be left here with the cube and the rectangular prism. So, I know that a cube has six faces, but I'm going to count the faces just to double check. Why don't you count quietly along with me, ready? One, two, I have eight vertices. Well, I know now that vertices are the corners, so I'm going to count. One, two, three. let's try the rectangular prism. I'm going to count the rectangular prism just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, they both have six faces. They both have eight vertices. Now I'm going to look at the last clue. All of my faces are square. Okay, so now I know that. It can't be the rectangular prism because it has rectangular faces. And if I look at the cube, all of its faces are square. So it has to be the cube. When I'm sharing out with my friend, I'm going to use our geometry words. The solid figure is a cube because it has six faces, it has eight vertices, and all of its faces are square. Now remember, we're going to use a complete sentence and we're going to use our special geometry word. The solid figure is, fill it in, because, so you're going to justify or prove your answer to your neighbors. And remember, this is an opportunity for us to learn from each other. So if you're unsure, that's okay. Make a smart guess and tell your neighbors, I'm not sure. I think it is, and think about what you know about shapes, and just make a smart guess. And number three, if you notice that someone in your group doesn't quite understand what to do, help them. This is an opportunity to learn from each other. And tell them, I think you should say this because, and don't forget to justify your answer using our geometry words. Number of faces, number of vertices. Hey, remember, with our numbered heads activity, we all have to come to a consensus. We all have to agree. I won't roll the dice and choose a friend to share out the answer until everyone in your group has their thumb up. I have eight edges, I have five faces, and one of my faces is a square. What am I? It can't be this. It has to be something else. It has to be like the pyramid. The sphere has no edges, no edges, no, no vertices, and, and no faces. So I think it's going to be the pyramid. I 
think so too. Let's count each one of them again. Let's check our answers. Look at one of uh, one. One of my faces is a square. Oh my God. It's hard to trick you. Remember, with our numbered heads together strategy, each team is assigned a number. And then each individual person will be assigned a number. So this is team one. Now I'm going to number you off. Ready? Salma. One, two. Remember your number. Hector, what's your number? Two. Alessandro, what's your number? You all have to come to a consensus. You all have to agree. Put your thumb up. And when I see that everyone has their thumb up, I'll roll the dice and we'll see who's going to stand up and share out. Let's look at our next riddle. I have zero edges. I have zero vertices. Let's look at a clue. It has to be this one. Why do you think it has to be that one? Hold on, let's take turns. It has zero edges and zero vertices and it has two faces. Hector, what can you tell us about the face? Can you show us what a face is? A face is... <coughs> a face is... Would it be... this part of the shape? Or would it be this part? The corner? Or would it be the flat part? Okay, so a face is the flat part of a solid figure. Okay. Is everyone in agreement that we all agree that this is a cylinder? Yes. That our riddle is a cylinder? Yes. Okay, what do you think, Hector? Do you agree? Yes. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, so tell us with a complete sentence. The solid figure is? The solid figure is a cylinder. Because? Because it has it has a Excellent. Good job. I'm going to roll your own individual number first. So if I roll a three, William, all the threes be prepared to share. And then my next number that I roll, Alessandra, is the table number. So I'm rolling number two. Make sure every number two is in agreement that you know what you're going to share out using your complete sentence. Number two from this team, are you ready? Okay, why don't you go over again what you're going to say. Table two. Hector, number two, stand up and share out. The solid figure. The solid figure is the circuit. The circuit. Okay, the oh cylinder. God. The cylinder. It has. Oh yeah, it has zero edges. Edges and zero vertices. Vertices. Nice job, Hector. Let's give Hector a round of applause. Please come have a seat in your two rows. Crisscross applesauce, hands in your lap. Today we solved riddles about our solid figures that we've been working on. What are some of the attributes that we can talk about that helps us describe a solid figure? Emily. Okay, we can use. I think we can use the faces. Josue, what attribute, what other attribute can we use to describe a solid figure? We can use edges to describe solid shapes. Today we use the numbered heads together strategy to help us learn from one another. Turn to your partner and tell them what did you like best about this strategy? What did you like best? Tell them. I, I liked. I liked best it was the riddles. Eight what did you like about the numbered heads together strategy working with your team? Turn and look at it. I I think that it, the, the whole thing was fun and I liked it all. You liked it all? You thought it was fun? What did, what did you like best about it, John? Well, it was like cha uh, challenging, but we could all get it done. Who would like to volunteer? What did you like best about our numbered heads together strategy? Ingrid. 
The best thing I like about the number heads together was um, we got to do fun stuff like um, count the edges, faces, and vertices. What did you like best about working with a team? We were saying this was good, that was not it, and we're counting. We're talking about the edges, faces, and vertices. So we were counting together if to see, and we double checked it to see if our answer was correct. That part where you were saying thumbs up, that's what you were saying to your team member? Excellent. Well, it sounds to me like you were a great team member.